This quick video should help you figure out how to complete the 2018-19 scheduling process. Very soon you will have a Google Drive folder shared with you. It will include the following items, the curriculum guide, a course code sheet, a list of courses with prerequisites, the scheduling calendar for this school year upcoming, math department offerings and sequencing, as well as science department offerings and sequencing. Current 8th graders, current 9th graders, current 10th graders, and current 11th graders will each have their own folder. Within each folder, I've placed the course code sheet there as well. I've also placed the scheduling sheet. Um, students will receive these color-coded in this folder. Um, they're just going to be plain. Um, when you receive your paper, pencil, schedule, it will be either green, blue, yellow, or orange, depending on your grade level. There's also going to be an informational sheet listed based on your current year. The information on the worksheet, kind of like a newsletter that's in there for you, just has information based on your grade level, things that you need to know regarding scheduling, classes that you should be considering taking, who your counselor is if you're still not sure, dates of when your scheduling session will happen, and just, again, some information um, just based on your grade level. So for starters, I would recommend that students take some time and flip through the curriculum guide. I did want to show you that when you open this document, it's 25 pages long, so do take some time to look through. Um, when you're choosing classes for your schedule, make sure that if you have a question about what to fill it in with, if it's a class that would be a good fit for you, if it's a class that's appropriate for your grade level or your ability, you can use the curriculum guide to help make those determinations. Each course also has the course code listed next to it, kind of as a, a quick reference if you need to go back and forth. I did want to share one tip. On your Ma uh, Chromebook, if you hold down the control button and hit F at the same time, it should pop open a search bar where you can search a keyword. So if I knew I was interested in taking a class like interpersonal relationships, but I didn't quite know what that class was, I could search that word or that course title. Spelling does kind of matter on these. And it'll show me the first hit, which doesn't quite tell me about the class. I'm going to hit next. And here we go. So here's the class. Here's the semester length, the credit that I can earn if it's appropriate for my grade level, the course code, and a quick description. So again, as I'm choosing some electives, I might pull up this curriculum guide to kind of gather some more information and decide if it's the right class for me. For the purposes of this quick video, I am going to choose to be a ninth grader scheduling for 10th grade school year. So I'm going to go into the ninth grade scheduling folder. I've opened my scheduling sheet and mine is clearly not going to be um, blue, I'm sorry, yellow, as yours will be if you are a current freshman, but I am going to use this sheet here to work through the process with you. I've already filled in my student ID, my last name, first name, middle initial. My grade level for next school year has already been filled in for me. I've circled my counselor. I've written my potential career interest, indicated what my post-secondary goal is, and also marked which diploma and if I'm on track at this point in time for graduating on time. You will see that the grade level that you are scheduling for is, um, there's a dark border around that grade level. That's just to help remind you which one that you should focus on and which one you will have to put the course codes in for. This is considered your four year course plan, which is something the state has students consider each year. So as you fill this out, um, obviously, you don't need to put the course codes in for school years that aren't affecting next year, but you will have to put the codes in for scheduling purposes so the counselor makes sure we can check your, your requests. So, for starters, I'm going to take regular English, and I have to take A and B as it's a full year class. For math, I will be choosing Algebra 2 because I took Algebra last year. And again, that's a full year class, so I need to take the A and the B section. For science, since I took Earth Space Science as a freshman, I would be taking Biology as a sophomore. I did not take World History in my freshman year, so I need to choose that as a class for sophomore year. Career Info and Explore 
career information and exploration is a class that's built in so that's just going to take up one of my elective spaces which means i need to pick a single semester class to be its partner i decided that i wanted to take interpersonal relationships after i looked that up so i'm going to fill that here that means i've got career info one semester and interpersonal relationships the other I am interested in completing one of the Ag Pathways. Um, is that, that's an interest of mine. So since I took Intro Animal Science freshman year, I'm going to take the Natural Resources class this year. Those are full year, so I do need to indicate that I'm taking it both semesters. I have also um, thought about if I could keep my grades up, maybe alert working toward the academic honors diploma or the technical honors diploma. So I do want to add a foreign language as I know that's important if I'm planning on going to college. So I'm going to take French. I'm going to try French one next year. That is a full year class. And then for my last elective space, I'm not quite sure what I wanted to take. So again, I just wanted to reiterate, if you need to go back and check the curriculum guide just quickly, it would be as simple as toggling back to that first screen. Um, and maybe I'm just gonna scroll through and I had forgotten that I was interested in maybe taking a PE. So that should be in here, um, just as a quick reminder of what PE classes there are. I'm interested in modern fitness. So I'm going to come back over and I'm interested in taking that all year. All right, so for my backups, I'm thinking, you know what, what if natural resources isn't the class for me? One of my backups could maybe be 2D art book making as that's a fine arts credit. And if I'm going for academic honors, that's something I need to have eventually. So that would be a full year request as an alternate. And if natural resources, that's the one I'm kind of thinking that's, I'm not sure. Um, if I do want to complete that pathway, maybe a different ag course. I took intro animal science, so maybe the ALS dual credit animal science would be a good fit. But again, these are my alternates just in case. But I do want to have them in here because as a counselor looking through schedules over the summer, if classes, you know, don't end up getting offered or there's just an issue where it doesn't fit, it's great to have a couple backups so that we don't have to just pick something that you're not interested in taking. Now again, for the purposes of this quick video, I'm not going to be able to type the codes in these boxes, but I do want to show you. I'm going to go back to the initial folder and I'm going to open the course code sheet. And I want you to see that when I'm looking through this, I'm going to find the classes on here to then fill in the codes needed. Um, for example, it's listed alphabetically. English 10, the code is 3101, 3102, so I would come back over here and write 310102. Algebra 2, I'm going to find that in math. That's 5101, 5102, so I'm just going to pop in 5101, 5102, and so on and so forth. Once I have this quadrant filled out, I then would take a few minutes to just indicate which classes I took as a freshman, which classes I'm planning on taking as a junior, and which classes I'm planning on taking as a senior. I can also type in here if I'm interested in taking any summer classes. I did mention, you know, if I'm interested in going for academic honors diploma, I need to have C minuses or higher. So maybe I didn't do super well in my English 9A class. I could take that over the summer to try to earn a higher grade. So I'm going to jot that one down just in case. I am going to have to get my, my signature on here. I'm going to need a parent or guardian to sign this. I need a parent phone number, basically a phone number that could work over the summer if a counselor needs to reach out to get a hold of you based on a scheduling issue, and an email address that we could get a hold of you over the summer as well. On the back, so on your printed copy, this will just be flipped over to the back side of your sheet, but on the back there is the course permission signature sheet. You will need to look through this. If any of the classes that you've signed up for require a signature, just make sure you get those before you turn this in on your scheduled um, sit down session with your counselor. So I'm looking through this and it doesn't appear that any of the classes I requested are um, needing a signature except for French one. So I would need to chat with Ms. Herman and make sure she has a chance to check my English grade. 
All right, so after I have this completed with parent signature, I'm gonna be ready to go when I meet with my counselor. I can turn this into my I succeed teacher to hold it for me until um, it's my turn or I can keep it in my own personal folder or I can turn it in down in guidance. We just wanna make sure that when you meet with your counselor, you do know um, that this needs to be completed at that point in time. So going back to this folder, all of these documents are going to be listed on the school website as well. I'll send a link to students when that's available. But in the meantime, please do know that this 2018-19 this, um, All Scheduling Documents folder will be sent your way. You will have access to this before your scheduled time and potentially before you get your paper pencil scheduling sheet. So just um, access this, get, get familiar with the information in here so that once you have your paper pencil sheet, you're ready to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop by guidance or email your counselor. Um, that would probably be the best way to get questions answered before we sit down and do scheduling very, very soon. Thanks so much.